A system security plan is the first thing that you're going to be asked if your environment is compromised. And for many environments, it's going to be a requirement uh, on many different levels from GDPR, DFARS, all types of regulatory compliance for your users and consumers of your services, whether you're a plumber or whether you're a high-end IT firm, a system security plan is essential. And today, we're going to walk through some of those key attributes of a system security plan. The first is, what is the security level, the impact to your organization? So you need to first establish what that security impact level is. What type of data do you have in your environment? Services are you offering and what is the impact to security? Once that's been established, we're going to go ahead and move into the development of controls and baselines to support that impact and those services running in the environment. It is not uncommon to have multiple system security plans, each focused on specific business deliverables. And once that's established, we want to go ahead and continually monitor that environment. We want to make sure that everything that we've established is actually running properly. Then we know that change is going to happen, but before we get to the change part, let's talk about configuration management. So we need to document exactly what is in the environment and be able to be uh, flexible when change does occur. Now that all of that is established in the environment, we're continually monitoring these controls that we've established to meet the desired level of security. We need to evaluate the risk that's in the environment. So how well are we doing? Are the controls we put in place helping us? And when they don't help us, we need to make sure we have a clear and defined path to remediation. So planned remediation of risk. And, and that's where some change management comes in as well. When we make changes to the environment, how do we schedule that out? Look, the reality is we don't have to be perfect, but we have to have a plan in place. And this ability to lay out all of these primary components as well as the authorization process, that consistency that we're going to use to make sure our environment is secure is critical to really the safety of your entire environment from a cyber perspective. Now, if you're sitting back listening to this going, oh my golly, that's a whole lot of work. It is a little bit of work and Technology Milestones is here to help. In future videos, we're going to go through and describe and give a little more explanation on each one of these key attributes of a system security plan, but you can certainly go to technologymilestones.com and schedule a consulting appointment today or let us help you build your system security plan.